Welcome back. You're watching Storyboard. E-commerce or online shopping is expected to grow by 47% this year. Not surprisingly, a whole bunch of websites are increasing marketing spends and most of that is visible in some high-frequency TV advertising. One of the leading companies in this space is Flipkart. I'm joined now by one of its co-founders and CEO, Sachin Bansal. He joins us from the headquarters of the company in Bengaluru. Sachin, good to have you on Storyboard. Hi. What is propelling this huge surge in online shopping? What has changed in your uh, environment that has resulted in this spurt? I think customer trust uh, uh, has become much better in, in the whole medium itself. Uh, E-commerce in the last decade has been uh, suffering from a lack of customer trust in general. Uh, which has changed now and I think more and more e-commerce players uh, in the market better services better product selection better prices is driving that uh, as well the interesting thing that we've noticed is the fact that low prices uh, especially when it comes to the first category that you'll put out there on Flipkart and that is books is one of the key uh, attractions for people on your site and yet you, you're saying that low prices is not the biggest uh, driver for sales for Flipkart? So I, think, I think low prices uh, is secondary to trust for us. If the trust factor or, or if the consumer trust in your service is low, I feel that low prices will not help you much. So, so that's what uh, we, we, for example, we did a lot of experiment with prices uh, earlier on when we started. Uh, most of the most of the experiments, most of the research that showed was that the first hurdle for consumers was trust. Uh, after that, uh, the consumers think about prices or selection or um, other things. So, the three messages that we are going out with cus to customers right now, uh, one is that we will. We will help you if there is any problem with the products. We will do a replacement for you. We are also promising uh, cash on delivery and card on delivery for customers so that customers don't have to pay up front and, and uh, then, then worry about what will happen, uh, let's say, if the product is not delivered. Then the, the, the third factor, which is also again an important factor, is whether the product is original or not. Will it come with a warranty? This combined with a very, very smooth shopping experience uh, online as well as offline, when, when you when you when you when you get products in hand uh, before time this this is a, the combination of these factors is basically leading to the growth of the uh, growth for us right now the best thing about e-commerce or anything that's online is the kind of analytics that it throws up isn't it and especially to a retailer so give us a sense of the geographic as well as the demographic profile or anything else that you can share in terms of a psychographic profile of your online shopper Majority of the customers are urban, uh, they are office going people, English speaking, they are uh, spending a lot of time on internet, that's our, that's our major demographic. In terms of cities, about half of our shoppers come from uh, larger cities and about half of them come from a very long tail of small cities. Just to give you a sense of that, we have shipped products to each and every part of India. Uh, we have uh, we have shipped products to almost each and every pin code of Kerala, for example, uh, where uh, where availability of bookstores is not that good or availability of um, uh, products is not that great, and and but there is a lot of demand. You have an ad campaign that's going on as we speak on all the major channels. You've advertised before. Uh, how much has traditional advertising helped, uh, you know, with the sales? And does advertising helped in create uh, awareness or salience for the brand, or is has it is it about creating credibility? Where do you think that this is uh, more important to you? I think it's a combination of all these. Uh, for us, uh, what we found in the last campaign and what we are observing in this campaign also is that uh, that when you are, let's say, when you are creating a new category itself, when you're creating a new sector itself, uh, uh, you have to be you have to uh, be very very visible, very very uh, uh, accessible for customers. So, so TV is a medium which which we found as a very great medium to to reach to customers. Uh, to to build trust, uh, to build that comfort level in their mind, which lowers their apprehensions for trying a service for the first time. Uh, so I think that's something that uh, we have found. And and in terms of in terms of uh, uh, in terms of conversions, in terms of sales, we have found TV as a very very good medium. Apart from TV, we do a lot of advertising online as well. We use uh, social media very effectively. Uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, we answer a lot of questions on Twitter, for example. We we do promotions on Facebook. 
and that has given us good results. How does an online shopping site like Flipkart A offer low prices and how do you then go and track and you know 30, you, you offer phenomenally low prices on books especially you offer this 30 days uh, or you know if you're not happy if there's a problem you take it back. So how do you ensure and you spend on good service because that's some of the feedback that comes to us. So how do you ensure how does it work? First of all, our cost of operations is much lower than uh, physical stores, uh, which gives us uh, uh, a lot of room. Whatever cost savings that we have by keeping our operations very less costly is something that we will uh, uh, we are able to pass that on to the customers. Apart from that, we we are we tie up with suppliers. Uh, we have a close relationship with most of our suppliers. We work closely with brands, uh, uh, and because of the volumes that we drive, we get great deals from them we get one of the one of the best deals in the market from our suppliers we get uh, and that is what I, again we pass on, on to our customers but you again, you employ a lot of people isn't it how many people do right. you employ as we speak right now we are, we have about 2500 people in the company uh, how profitable is the business given that it's growing so phenomenally a lot of people and a lot of investment that has been made uh, is is something that is an extra capacity that we are creating for to handle the growth that is going to come in the future uh, uh, because of the nature of things, you have to invest uh, before in infrastructure and people and, and have them up to speed b to handle the growth that we uh, are, are seeing now. Uh, and, and long term, uh, in, terms of, in, terms of, in terms of sales also, I feel uh, uh, we know that this is, uh, this is going to be less and less capital intensive, less and less people intensive. Uh, with scale, we are able to bring in efficiencies, uh, economies of scale, we are bringing efficiency into the system, we, bring it, we are able to bring our costs down uh, for every order. The global economy and the industry has seen the dot-com boom and then bust or, or you know, nearly a decade ago. Uh, there is a boom again and there are people who are questioning how, um, you know, how credible this, this current dot-com story is. What would you have to say to those people, especially in a scenario where we are talking about uh, funding that you are receiving and reported, you know, reportedly the valuations that are being put to companies like yours? We definitely see uh, e-commerce as a sector, as a very, very sustainable long-term sector uh, and, uh, and, and the business itself, the way we are building the business, I'm not sure about the others, but the way we are building the business is, is, is we are taking a very, very long-term approach. We are, we are in here for the long, long haul. And uh, uh, that's what our that's what we are telling our investors as well. Uh, our investors are not short-term investors; they are very, very long-term investors. They they invested in us for five to seven years at least, uh, if required. They are willing to wait for ten years also. So that's the that's the kind of mindset that we have uh, right now. We are very, very focused on customers, making sure that customers we are able to build a service which is very, very useful for customers, where customers keep coming back to us again and again, and and until that. Until unless that keeps, that does not happen, we know that this is not a sustainable model. But if the customers keep coming back to us, I know that this is something that will uh, will stay for long term. Right. To end this, I'll ask you one more question. What is the growth that you are seeing uh, for Flipkart uh, in terms of customer acquisitions, repeats as well as revenues? So repeat rate has been traditionally very, very high for us in the, since the last four years. Uh, this is, um, it's, uh, it has been upwards of. Uh, seventy percent, more than seventy percent of our customers repeat in a year. Uh, for for new customer acquisition, we are accelerating quite rapidly. Uh, today, uh, uh, this month, we are crossing uh, sales of more than ten million dollars in a month, uh, and uh, we we see this growth accelerating even further. We we think uh, we have set ourselves a target of five hundred to six hundred crores uh, by March two thousand twelve. We, uh, we are pretty sure that we are going to beat that target now. Right. Sachin Bansal, thank you very much for joining us with that. I must tell you that no matter the advertising that you're doing, what drove, drove me to try Flipkart out was when my family doctor said that he had started ordering both <laughs> books and mobiles from Flipkart. So, you know, word of mouth ultimately in this space yes. is what gets, go what gets you going. So, thank you for joining us. All the very best. And that it's a wrap on storyboard we'll see you same time same place next week so do catch us then